I'm tech chasing with Never Stop Fishing. I am a kid, but that doesn't stop me from fishing. I am here in Utah. Uh, I have been here for a month, and I am not with my parents, which is pretty much, yeah, it's really fun. Uh, I've been fishing pretty much the whole time. I mostly learned to catch bass. I went to Flaming Gorge the other day. I've been fishing at Deer Creek Reservoir. Uh, there's a pond up in Midway, which is in Wasatch County. The pond's kind of boring, but my favorite place to fish here in Utah would probably be, uh, I guess, yeah, it's going to be the reservoir in here in Heber. The Deer Creek Reservoir. Sorry, I couldn't remember the name. Anyways, uh, these are a couple of my poles that I go fishing with, of, apparently, of course. And uh, this right here is the pole that I'm mainly going to be using. I live in Washington State, and I'm just visiting here to go fishing and stuff like that. This is my new rod that I'm going to use to go salmon fishing. I... Uh, about seven feet long and uh, yeah what I'm going to be using to catch salmon are these buzz baits that I got right here this is a hot pink buzz bait because the fish tend to like pink more the salmon for some reason and since I'm going to be fishing in Washington I have a single hook because treble hooks are illegal in Washington state so are barbs so I cut the barb off right there not very well, but I did it. A Texas style rig hook just on, it's not Texas style. I didn't put it on Texas style, but that's what this hook's made for. Buzz bait. I have more, uh, more buzz baits. My tackle here. Okay. I think it's this one. I don't have many buzz baits because I just started getting them, but, uh, these are the buzz baits that I have because pink works the best. I have a white with pink strip. It's the only one that I can find left. That hot pink one over there. This one with a green stripe on it. Green is the second best one you could use. You have a solid dark green buzz bait that'll work just fine. Same with this. And I have this colorful one that is white on one side and then orange and yellow on the other side. This one is two and a half inches. The one over there, the hot pink one right there is also two and a half inches. This one, um, eh, hold on. This is three inches. Right here, this green and white one. And then this pink and white one is, uh, Also three inches. Yeah, same size. And these are the hooks that came with them. Treble hooks. And they also come with these bumpers right here. But treble hooks are illegal, like I've mentioned before. So I'm just going to be using uh, these kind of hooks right here. Just showed you over there. And I'm going to show you how you set this up. Okay. So you have a single hook right there with the barb cut off, of course, because that's illegal. You put the bumper or you slide. This is going to be able to slide through your line. That's okay because it will be pressed up against the water and it will be going like up against the bumper. So yeah, what you do, you put your line going through it and then through the bumper and then you just tie your hook. And it's important that you have that bumper or it can, uh, like, snap your line right where that knot is. So it's important that you have that bumper. And uh, I'm going to be going up to Washington, back to where I live, and, uh, next week on Labor Day weekend. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be uh, salmon fishing for Chinook salmon or King salmon. And uh, then I'm going to go over to Washington State 
well, I'm still going to be in Washington State since I live there. And I'm going to be fishing at the Columbia River and catch lots of fish there. What I'm going to do, I have a boat, a small one. I'm just going to row over to Reed Island, and you know where that is. And fish from the shores of that, that'll work. And yeah, I'm Tank Jason. Never stop fishing, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll get back to you when I am actually fishing. Uh, this is part one. There'll be many, many parts and episodes, and hope you like this one. Bye.